Hey everyone, welcome to part six of my 3D platformer tutorial series. Uh, in this video, I'm going to go over a very standard level select. We're just going to have three levels, so it's just going to be a UI with three buttons. What it will do is it'll just open up that world. Um, it's very simple stuff, but it will give us an introduction towards what our level select would look like and just how to open up a level. Uh, this is just going to do the very standard open level functionality. There's a thing called level streaming that um, We'll probably shift over at a later time, but as of right now, I'm just going to show you something very basic if you just want to learn how to open up a, le a level in general. So, um, yeah, let's get right into it. Okay, and before I dive into this, uh, just letting everybody know I currently have COVID right now. What a great time to be alive. Uh, but if, excuse my voice uh, if it comes in and out or sounds a little, a little bit off. But nonetheless, let's get started. What we want to do is we are going to need to create three different levels. So we'll need level one, level two, and level three. We need to then make a UI so that you can select each of those buttons and each of those will then open up the level accordingly. So we're gonna do something just very simple. So what we're gonna to want to do is we need to have three levels. So go to wherever your maps are located. I'm actually just gonna control C and V and then V again. We're just going to name this level two. We'll rename this to level three. I'm also going to create a blank level. We're going to call this main menu. If we open up main menu over here, we'll have a very blank under world settings. Okay, cool. Has nothing. Perfect. Um, we'll change that in a bit, but nonetheless, I want to make sure that this is blank. And then since this one is currently not open, change this to level one. Uh, yeah, continue with rename. Then I'm also going to right click on the content folder, fix up redirectors. Just make sure um, everything is connected. Nothing gets a little janky afterwards. So if we open up level one again, looks perfectly fine. Awesome. Next, let's create a HUD. We're going to name this, is it BP HUD? main menu open this up we're not going to do anything in it yet but just have that in its own tab because that will be important for us and then what i did is i created a new ui folder already and that's because i imported some all right, I had to quickly import those as I thought I did already, but nonetheless, I have just standard level buttons available here. Let's go back into making our UI. So under my UI folder, we'll go into here. What we're gonna need is you can either do, you can type it in, just widget, which it will pop up, or you can actually go under user interface all the way at the bottom and hit widget blu blueprint. We'll do W for widget blueprint, and we'll name this, level select it's going to be pretty simple i'm not going to do any heavy design whatsoever so we're going to do canvas we're just going to drop that here we'll do let's, let's do a vertical box let's anchor that to the center 0 0.5 0 0.5 0 0 Let's make this 600. Let's make this 800. Awesome. And then we're going to want some buttons. So let's get button. Dragon. Oh. One, two, three. We're going to rename this. Let's see button level one. We'll name that level two. Level three. Awesome. 
And obviously we don't want them all next to each other. So what I'm gonna do is hold shift and then click on level three. So I was already clicking on level one and then click on level three, highlights it all, and then hit the fill button. Now these buttons are really gigantic. I don't really want that. Now you could just, for all of these, add like a small buffer of 50. So you could do something like that. It's super simple too. Uh, what I'm gonna do is actually do 100 and then 50 here. And then from here, I'm gonna do 50 and 50. And then I'm gonna do bottom 150. So it kind of spaces them out roughly all about the same. I'm gonna then put in all of the images. So for normal, I'm gonna level one default. Level two, default. Level three, default. I'm also going to put down my press button. So level one, down. Level one, er, sorry, level two, down. And then last one, level three, and down. Okay. So we got our standard buttons. Oop, didn't mean to do that. Cool. What we'll want to do now is each of these buttons needs to now open up a level. So pressing on click. You can actually, from the graph, you can actually select on the button and scroll down. This is a bit easier to do the on clicked. This was something that when I first started, I didn't know you could do that. And I kept going over to a designer and scrolling down. And it was the most painful thing ever. Um, but you can save a lot of time by doing this. And now what we need to do is we need to open up a level. So, I mean, the most standard way is to open up a level by name where you can go like that and you can just type in the name. So if we truly wanted to do level one, that you would have to make sure that that text matches up with the levels here. Or you could do something as a level Let's see, open level by object reference. And you can also do this where you can select the level as well. Another thing is um, something I won't be doing right now, but you could set this as like a, let's see, you could do this as like a world array. Obviously don't do it in this blueprint, but if you had like um, a game instance, you could save this. And then when you want to call a level, you could do get copy. And then you can like get the index accordingly to this. So if you wanted like the first index, if you wanted the second, etc. I'm not gonna do that at this moment. We do something very simple. Do level two, level three. You also have the ability to mess with other settings as well. For this, we're keeping it super, super simple. Can parse default value, level one. Day. Oh, that's because my map's default value is level one. Let's go into blueprints. That's a HUD class. Okay, for starters, we want to leave the HUD. Cool, 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 cool. We'll go into project settings. And we'll want to change our default maps. So from here, we're going to go to maps and modes. And then from here, See, default maps, editor startup map, so you can control whatever um, map opens up from startup. So that I would have level one, so I just open up one of my maps. But the game default map, so this is whatever um, level is going to default when starting. And then for this, we're going to want to do the main menu. All right, so let's go back to our HUD main menu. 
on begin play, we're going to want to create widget. Level select. Get player controller. Add to viewpoint. Viewport, sorry. <laughs> and then let's also. And we do set UI mode only. Control D to there. Widget to focus is going to be here. Not really necessary since we're not really going to be doing much. However, um, who knows? Let's see. All right. Let's go back over to our content drawer. Go to maps. Let's go back to main menu. So now what we want to do is when we open up this map, we want it to register that HUD. So this is where we need a game mode. Back into Blueprints, we're going to go into Blueprints, Game Mode, Game Mode Base. We're going to name this GM for Game Mode, Main Menu, opening up for here. Uh, sometimes the viewport opens, sometimes not. Um, completely, I don't really touch the construction script in this, but yeah. Nonetheless, under HUD, we're going to change this into HUD main menu. And then under default pawn, we want to go to none. We want to make sure that there's nothing there. There's nothing to view here. So very important to make sure that that is there. Then over here, we're going to then switch this to GM main menu. You also see that all of these just pull through as well. So when we start, hit play. Oh, looks like there's an error here. Um, apologies, looks like something left over from what I was uh, doing last time. Let's hit play. Oh, looks like my mouse is completely invisible. I can hover, but nonetheless, let's fix that. Let's see. Set to UI mode. Okay. So it, what it is, is basically the default controller is set to off. So what we need to do is either you can create your own controller to where you just have the default set to on, or you can set mouse cursor. If I can spell cursor and turn that on as well. This is actually extremely ugly, but my brain is about half here right now. All right, I'm actually gonna move this over so I just don't have an aneurysm. All right, let's try this again. Now I have my mouse. My down buttons don't seem to be appearing correctly, or uh, those are my hover buttons, I should say, uh, which is fine. But when I press down, there we go. I didn't set a hover. So that's working when I hit level one. Awesome. But then now it's still set to UI mode. It's kind of why I wanted to show it. Um, because when you start the game, you would need to make sure that once you load into your map, you have full control of your character. So in here, we're using the BP third person game mode. So if we went back over here, third person game mode. Oop, sorry, we wanna to go to our controller actually. Don't believe we made one yet. So let's go ahead and make a controller. Another blueprint class, uh, controller. Player controller. We're gonna name this, Ooh, forgetting the naming convention. I think it's still BP player controller. All right, let's open this up. We don't really need to do much here. We just want to set game mode. 
only. You don't really have to put self, but I do it kind of for uh, myself. Uh, in the controller itself, it's just going to default to the player controller anyways. So on begin play, it's just going to make it to game mode only. And then we also want to make sure is that our third person game mode is using that controller. So under player controller, switch to BP player controller. All right, so let's go back to our map. Select level one. And now I have control and I'm doing all right. Now, it's hard to tell if we know which one I'm doing. So let's do print string. We'll do level one. So that will tell us what level we're opening, but also at the same time, I have no way to show you guys how to open up different ones back to back. So what I want to do is go into my player character. I'm going to add a debug. So we'll do debug Q. And upon pressed, I'm going to create a widget. And we'll do level select. Edit viewport. Okay. Okay, I thought there was an error for a second. Hitting start, we open level one. It says level one. Awesome. So I'm going to press Q. Oh, looks like I can't select on anything because I still have it set to game mode only. That's why it's important. Set to UI or UI mode only. Got to do all this fun stuff again. Player controller. Normally I spend more time to flesh all of this out, but I kind of want to do more of a natural walkthrough of it all from the top of my head. So we hit two. Awesome. Take Q again. Oh, once more. Show mouse cursor. Oop. Show mouse cursor. Let's try this again, shall we? Press Q. All right. Bam. Level three. Level one. Level two. Cool. With that, we're able to swap our levels. We're opening up the different levels. And that's how you have a very generic level select. And yeah, uh, tune in next time.